Hello, my name is Javier Orozco and I want to begin the uh, circularity, the sustainability, the assessment of the urban future, urban development of city by a close analysis of the lessons from the past, which are very important and very close to us and have to be well understood in order to get to very relevant results for our future. First of all, uh, urban development has to deal with architecture. The first, or at least the most famous first architect was Vitruvius. He began with an analysis of the form and function, their interrelation, uh, the different uh, basic measuring elements in them, uh, how to introduce symmetry, harmony, order, and to build function through the proprietary context and an understanding of the economy on the function, in order to integrate the pillars of all cities, beginning with history, culture, state, social, this is very uh, updated now, art, art meaning geometry, spirit, shaping ideas, and thusing people and the future development, the philosophy which is uh, key to the uh, satisfaction of the human beings with personal purpose and personality, the interaction of the basic elements from earth, wind, earth, gravity in physics, music, theater, law, medicine and astronomy, all these elements are very important in order to get to specific sustainability solutions and they can be learned from the text by Vitruvius. First, he introduced modularity, which is very important for the recyclability. He introduced standards, which is the basic for being able to develop something modular. And then, obviously, ergonomy, the layout of the city, its form, in order to uh, include the proportion and form and uh, make it more usable in uh, the layout and in the ergonomy. And uh, through the function, because we need to understand the operation, the physics of the problem of the different elements, the maintenance of all these constructions and buildings, the necessary investment, which has to be very carefully controlled, and the context and use, which is particular and specific for every society. In the slides, which are shared with this course, you can click on the links of all these elements in order to see more specific elements. So let's go into specific lessons. Materials, for example, building with bricks. Bricks is a, a, an element which is developed from existing raw material, from earth by basically. How we are mixing earth and making it usable? Simply by firing it and then using a, a, a aggregates like quicklime, which is readily available in all parts of the world and allows a very efficient use of energy and a very durable results like, for example, the uh, remains from the uh, Roman Empire we see in Empurias. The use of uh, selenite, for example, for crystal is a very good example of natural windows. The use of uh, uh, the different uh, texture elements like torbemorite or the hydrated lime, which is giving e ever increasing strength to our concrete uh, as I introduced before. So all these materials should and could be uh, substituting existing cement, existing materials which are cheaper but not in a circular uh, meaning. Then the materials are carefully described in this text, the same will happen later. Here you have also the dealing of energy how to deal with the arrangement of the house, the natural movement of air, so uh, as to construct the passive house which seems to so modern and what the Romans call subnutrae lege domus. Uh, and also to use natural uh, heat in order to make it flow around the building and uh, get to a good heating with a minimum use of energy. The elements uh, which can be translated and used are also here. Uh, what about urbanism? The use of uh, modularity, the use of basic elements for decoration, the actual orientation of city and the uh, use of very simple compression arches in order to save 
course in the material, the way to build walls and uh, lay out the orientation and structure of the house. All these elements uh, are very important today, are beginning to be reused, but have been forgotten for a long time. Here, the links. And this is the basic learnings which are developed further on the playlist that you can access through the link here. And uh, please pay attention to the very important lessons from the past, which are most simple and uh, can help us a lot. Gracias, Ago.